Yo, 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 what's good? It's your boy McKeezy, a.k.a. Leo Ma, a.k.a. Mr. Do It All. And today, I'm bringing you guys a tutorial on how to connect the dynamic link between Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. Well, I should say it's from Premiere Pro to After Effects. Okay, so the, thing, the main thing is to have them both open already. When you start, just go ahead and open them both up. Don't even start a new project. Then you go ahead, go to Premiere, and then you bring your clip into Premiere. I mean, you can do your little edits or whatever you want, get everything right. But if you're planning on doing edits and After Effects and just going back and forth, you can just drag your clip over. You know what I mean? Make sure everything's running. If you want to, you can, you know, you press Enter or, you know what I mean, render out the ins and out if you want to. If it's running a little uh, off to you. So with it, all you open, you go over to File. I should say you should save your project right now. Um, I can't I messed up I didn't do it right away I went back and do it later in this tutorial but right now you should go ahead and go to um, dynamic link and then go down to um, what is it foul uh, you go to foul and you go down to um, dynamic link and then open new after effects composition and you get your settings all together I mean you make sure everything is right I mean your file sizes and all that your frame rate give it a little second to load it'll pop up since it's already uh, open it shouldn't take that long or you shouldn't get the error and you go through and you um you name it something easy and save it somewhere easy to find i usually put mine in my documents that's where they automatically save anyway and give it a little second to load up my computer's a little slow i'm gonna do a little um fast forwarding for you guys okay once it's here you should um have it loaded up onto the side here if you double click it it should open and your dynamic link should work. Give it a second to pop up onto your timeline and open a new composition. Um, if it didn't open up or pop up right away or if it's just opening up black, you should go back to your uh, Premiere Pro and um, save the project. Press Control S and save it. Or if you don't remember the name of it, you save it. But then you uh, go down and you find your Premiere Pro project. And that's why you should save it so it can be updated to the new Premiere project. And so like I said, once you save everything, you go back to find it because your, your little pop-up window should stay up. I mean, if you can't find it or if anything's not working, you just go back to your little pop-up window through the I mean, important new uh, uh, existing uh, in, um, Premiere Pro sequence. And then you go back and you find it. You know, you find out where you saved it at. And on the side, you'll see like some weird symbol or something. On the uh, sequence side, you'll see the sequence. I mean, you click the sequence. Press OK. And when you press OK, I mean, another uh, composition or sequence probably will pop up. And you just double click it or drag it down to your uh, to your uh, little workspace or whatever. I forget what it's called, I'm sorry. It's gonna make a new sequence. Give it a little second to load it. And there you have it. You got your dynamic link from uh, Premiere to After Effects. And you can go in to Premiere and tweak things, you know what I mean? Tweak little highlights or whatever you want to do, the edits, cuts, or whatever. And um, just press save and then go back into uh, After Effects. And everything should be working quite fine for you. And if this tutorial helped you, uh, just leave a like and subscribe. And thank you. I mean, good looking out.